so I'm here to do the oil change and do the brake pads and brake fluid flush on M3. Um, start with the oil change first. Oil changes is obviously due by date. Um, I don't put many miles on this car, but the fact that it's a, you know, it sits for a year uh, between the mileage is either the date or mileage whatever comes first. Obviously the reason why is because the oil can retain moisture after a year. They're saying that the oil is no longer good. So if you don't hit the mileage requirement, change it by the date. So I'm actually going to change this oil. I'm going to go to Liquid Molly, like I always do. Uh, I am running M's oil in the X5M. Haven't uh, made my final thoughts, my final decision on the, on the uh, M's oil just yet. So I'm going to continue to run Liquid Molly in this car. <laughs> Now this car is a little easier to do oil changes in. Granted, I had to jack it up each corner because my ramps are too small. So I had to hit each corner, jack it up, then slide my ramps underneath. The car will not clear the ramps on its own. But the oil drain plug is, it's right there. People are spending lighting, so I'm hoping to get better lighting. As you can see there. 17 millimeter. Doesn't take much. Uh, I think it's only held by like 30, 23 or 18 foot pounds of torque on this. So.
All right, so I recommend after you finish your oil change, go ahead and crank the engine, get it started, get it running. All right, now what you'll do, you come onto your iDrive, hit your menu key, you'll scroll down to vehicle information. You'll go over to vehicle status. Starting normal recording. And then right here where it says measure engine oil, you can hit start measurement. Okay, what that's going to do is gonna allow you to check the oil. It can only be done while the car is neutral or park. Right now, the everything's cold, so once everything is up to temperature, it will allow you to check the oil. Unfortunately, this is the only way you can check the oil of these cars. There is no uh, physical dipstick you can utilize to just check it. So I know it sucks, but the fact the easiest way to do it, drive the car around the block uh, for a few minutes, and then you should hopefully you come back to your, your house so you can check. I will also recommend checking underneath the car, look for leaks, make sure you, the plug is tightened and make sure obviously the oil filter is tightened as well. Sometimes it's easier to screw those things on, maybe slightly cross-threaded, and the last thing you want is to have um, a leakage while the car is under pressure, while the engine is running under pressure. So it's always good to drive around a block or so, come back, look, make sure it's not leaking, and you're good to go. All right, if you guys found the video helpful, give me a thumbs up, um, and thanks for watching. There's oil spills. Spill oil. Those stress tracks. I'm gonna clean these off. Wipe them under here. Pop them back in.